Look at that, it's finally starting to look like spring. So today I'll be doing another What I Ate in a Day video, but this time I'm gonna be revising some of my older recipes, updating them a bit, so stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN, and I follow a whole food plant-based way of eating. Here you're gonna find lots of quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that all sounds good to you, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every week. And please follow me on Instagram for more lifestyle and plant-based content. The full recipes for today's video will be in the description box. There's also some other good stuff in the description box, so I encourage you to check that out. And if you're new to this way of eating, I have a really, comprehensive online course that can help you navigate the ins and outs of a whole food plant-based diet and the link to that is down below. I also have a newsletter, a Facebook group that's free to join where you'll find some support, inspiration, and recipes. So check that out. So when I was trying to decide what I was going to film this week, I thought, you know, I really need to go back to the basics. I need to go look at some of my older recipes and I want to update them a bit because I am adding more protein to my meals. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be updating some oldies but goodies and maybe you haven't seen them. They're maybe two, three years old and they're really good for weight loss and simplicity and helping you to be consistent on this plant-based way of eating. So let's get started. So for breakfast, I'm gonna be making a tofu scramble. I've got a preheated nonstick skillet. I did spray a teeny little bit of cooking oil on there, avocado oil, just a light little spray. And I'm gonna start with some onions and some mushrooms. And I'm gonna just turn this down just a little bit. So maybe like in between medium, medium low. And then we're just gonna saute these until the mushrooms start releasing some of their moisture. And then we'll add in the rest of the veggies. The star of the show here is all these beautiful veggies. We are gonna add the tofu, of course, and that's gonna be our protein source. But you wanna get as many veggies in as you can. We're also gonna add a little bit of potato because I like to have some good starches in my tofu scramble. So with the combination of protein, veggies, and the starch, you're gonna really be full and satisfied and it's gonna really hold you over. Now, if you need to add a little splash of water in here, I would suggest you do that. You don't want these things to burn. So we'll just let these go for a few more minutes and then we'll add the rest of the veggies. These are looking good. So I'm gonna add in the rest of the veggies. I have about a cup of chopped zucchini. And I'm just going to be using frozen bell peppers. If you wanna use fresh, that's totally fine. Whoops, don't wanna do that. And we're gonna just saute these for a few minutes. I like to have my veggies have a little bit of crunch to them. So we'll let these go for, you know, two, three minutes on the medium heat. Okay, these are looking good. I'm gonna add some cherry tomatoes in here. And I'm gonna add my potato. This is just a half of a small pre-baked potato. And then we're gonna move all this to the side. And this is where we're gonna put our tofu. And I've got about uh, four ounces of extra firm that I'm just gonna crumble in here. I've got garlic salt, onion powders, um, no smoked paprika today. I do have some turmeric because we want this to have a nice yellow color. And turmeric is really good for you. It's anti-inflammatory. So I just cook these over here by themselves for a, a few minutes and then I'll mix it all together. And then we're gonna add a bunch of spinach in there. We're also going to add in a little splash of soy milk. Now, if you're not a fan of tofu, you could use tempeh. 
Or you could just um, add chickpeas to this or even some beans, but I'm a big fan of tofu. You get a really good amount of protein. It's relatively low in fat. And I just think it tastes freaking delicious. So as you can see, it's starting to look like scrambled eggs. I don't add the black salt to this, the whatever it's called, to make it taste like eggy. I don't really need that, but you're more than welcome to add that. All right, at this point, I'm gonna just mix everything all together. So you wanna get all those spices incorporated. And then I've got a nice bunch of spinach I chopped up. You could use kale. And then I just let this cook for a few minutes. If you want your tofu to cook longer, you can do that before you add in the spinach. Just depends on your taste. Here we go, finished product. I added a little bit of avocado on here for some healthy fat. And to me, this is a perfectly balanced meal. I've got starch, I got veggies, I have protein, I have some healthy fats. So this is gonna keep me full and satisfied well to lunch. Now, if this seems like too much food for you, then by all means, don't eat it all. Eat half or whatever you, you want and then save the rest for later. Uh, tofu scramble is great for lunch or dinner. Uh, it's one of my favorite meals and it's so easy to put together. You can change it up. You can change the veggies. You could add beans, corn, whatever you want. So it's really versatile. All right, let's give this a taste. Mm. Perfect as always. All right, for lunch, I'm gonna be making a simple summer salad because I am manifesting summer, I am manifesting warmer weather. So I'm gonna make a really easy summer salad for you. So I'll see you at lunch. Now before we make our salad, I'm going to crisp up some sweet potatoes. This is just a small-ish Japanese sweet potato. You can use whatever kind you want. And I'm just gonna season it up with my usual things. Garlic salt. Again, if you're salt-free, just use garlic powder easy to modify, some onion powder, and of course, smoked paprika. Because don't you know, I put it on everything. All right, we're just gonna toss this around. And then I'm gonna just put this on the baking sheet here. Get it in a single layer. I think I got everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this in the oven at 425 for like 15 minutes. They should cook pretty fast because they're pretty small. And then we'll get everything ready for our salad. So this is what we'll be putting in our salad, some romaine, red cabbage, cucumber, shredded carrot, tomato, onion, some pinto beans, and a little bit of fire roasted corn. All right, let's throw it all in a bowl. Got our corn, some beans, and then we're ready to roll when those sweet potatoes come out of the oven. All right, so our sweet potatoes are out, and I'm just going to sprinkle a few on top here. This just adds a lovely little crunch. They're almost like croutons. And then I'm going to use my 3-2-1 dressing. I love this dressing. It's just so light, and I'll leave the recipe down below. 
but it's basically three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of mustard, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. And I really highly suggest you use some flavored vinegars. It really changes it up. You could, I use a white peach. I get my vinegars from California Balsamic and they have so many different flavors. And there's a link to their website so you can check it out. And you don't really need a lot. A little goes a long way. And there you go, your beautiful salad. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy lunch and then I'll meet you back for dinner. Okay, I just wanted to show you one of my go-to snacks here. I have a couple rice cakes and on one I just put a little bit of avocado and everything but the bagel seasoning. And then here I've got some PB2, which is powdered peanut butter, which is a lot less fat and calories. And I just spread that on here. This is two tablespoons mixed with water and then some grapes. So this is a really good, healthy snack. You've got some good healthy fats with the peanut butter plus some protein and some good healthy fats with the avocado. And then you've got your rice cakes, which is like your starch and then fruit. I mean, this is perfect. So this is a little snack that I'll have before dinner and you know, you could really eat it anytime, but I just wanted to show you my quick little snack. So for dinner, I wanted something really easy. I've just had a really busy day and I just want to be able to throw something together. So this uh, recipe is inspired by Plentiful Kiki's kale and mushroom hash, so really easy. I've just got a little bit of water heating up in here. I'm gonna add some onion and some mushrooms. And we're just gonna let these saute and cook down. So we'll just let those go on medium heat for a few minutes. And then we add the kale and some spices and that's about it. So it's really, really simple. Okay, they're starting to cook down nicely. I'm gonna add some garlic salt. If you're salt free, just add garlic powder. And then we'll just let them cook down further. Then we're gonna add our kale and we'll just let it cook for a little bit till it gets nice and wilty. A little garlic salt on here and then I'm going to add a few shakes of some red pepper flakes. Optional. So I've got my baked potato here um, and this is leftover. I just reheated it in the microwave and then I like to um, kind of break it down, mash it up. And then you want to sprinkle on a little garlic salt because you want to, you know, season the potato as well. And then we'll just add our mushroom kale mix. And then I'm just going to add some of my cheese sauce on here. I'll leave a link to the cheese recipe down below. All right, let's give this a taste. All right, look at this beautiful bowl of yumminess. Now this is how you can get into a calorie deficit. It's adding a ton of veggies like this to one potato. And this is perfect. So let's give it a taste. And I just love the colors with the Yukon gold potato. And the green, oh, looks so yummy. Mm. Tons of flavor, tons of vitamins, fiber. It's a great way to end the day. A, a delicious filling meal. And if you don't like kale, you could use spinach, but kale is so good for you. Mm. So that's it for what I ate today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends. Going back to basics is something that I do um, every now and then when I maybe get off track a little bit. I just go back to the beginning and just do the basics.
So if you made it this far in the video, please comment below with basics and that way I know you made it to the end with me. Remember all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals and they're good for the planet and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you.